Today on Bits, we're going to talk about clamps. Clamps are one of those things that you can never have too many of, and that's a good thing because there are a lot of different types. There's also a huge variation in cost and quality. Not all of them are the same, but you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good clamp. When you look at clamps, be sure to pay attention to how much of it is metal and how much of it is plastic because that has a lot to do with the clamping strength and how long it's going to last. Let's talk about a few of the types of clamps that you'll find out there. First, let's talk about band clamps. Basically, it's a strap with some sort of a ratchet at the end to be able to tighten it. These work great for clamping up things that are oddly shaped or maybe not square, but they're also kind of hard to handle. One of the most common types of clamps is a C-clamp. These are generally really strong, but are limited in size and depth. A bar or an F clamp is really similar but has more variable size and is often more useful. But even more flexible than that is a pipe clamp. Usually these are fittings that you put onto a threaded pipe and so the longer pipe you use the bigger clamp you have. The only problem there is that at a certain length the pipe may start to bend. Spring clamps are super fast, super easy to use, but they can't apply as much pressure as some of the other types of clamps. Hand screws, or what you might think of as a woodworking clamp, is really versatile. You have a lot of pressure that you can add to them, but you almost always have to have two hands to put one on. A parallel clamp is really similar to some of the other types, but they add even pressure over two parallel surfaces. These are great and often used to clamp up a large panel like a tabletop. Speed clamps are really common as well, and they're great and fast to use, but they can't always add the pressure that you might need in all cases. I really like miter clamps or corner clamps. They're great for putting together two pieces at a 90 degree angle. There's also a bench or a toggle clamp. These are usually fixed to a work surface so that you can use a lever to clamp down a workpiece. Of course, there are several others that may be less obvious, like a hose clamp. It works great for clamping a hose, but it's also good for putting together segmented pieces that you're gonna turn on the lathe. And you may not think of tape or rubber bands as clamps, but they work great. There are a million other examples of clamps, and if you've got some other ones that you wanna share, please leave them down in the comments so we can all learn together. Big thanks to Brightwood College for sponsoring this video, and if you wanna find out more about them, click the link right there. I've also got a playlist of other Bits videos, and I'll be back later this week with a new project. I'll see you then.